money, drugs, sex, theft, justified injustice. This is the world, and card games are no different. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the door to darkness. So one time when I was growing up, yeah I know, a 20 something year old trying to give you a life experience as if he's even old enough to even consider having any life experience because you know, he grew up when Spongebob first aired. Yeah I know how this sounds but just hear me out alright. So one time when I was growing up, the school faculty pretty much made me and my homeroom class or however they organized it to sit in line for the entire set of recess all because of like maybe one or two kids who just didn't listen when it was time to line up and go back to class. So in other words, they done pulled the full metal jacket. Now of course you can debate whether this was really the right thing to do considering if they should really punish everybody for something one little shit did when everyone else is just trying to live their own separate lives even when you're as young as four and being told what to do in school. But the point of this story isn't really to debate that so much as it really is to give out the point that sometimes whether you like it or not, or whether it's truly fair or not, you're going to be associated with things that you may not necessarily like or even condone. Never mind pull. Put yourself in the shoes of any, not even just a Yugi tuber, in quotes, but anybody in general, whether it be sports, whether it be comic books, any collectible, anything. And how do you think people like us feel when we see shit like this? <laughs> Welcome to the Door to Darkness, or as I like to abbreviate it as DTD. I'm your host, Thesaurus, and this is the segment on my channel where we, quite frankly, expose the shitty behavior and or people that often dwell amongst card game communities. And today I have a topic that's by no means a new topic, especially since I have very fond memories of being 9 years old going into a Walmart in the toy section and noticing tampered with product. And don't even get me started on Shonen Jump promos. But it's definitely something that has seen an uprise and I don't know if it's because the economy's all fucked up, we got the virus, have all these riots. 2020 has just been a shit show for every other person who isn't the 2%. Even the 2% are getting tired of all the work they gotta do because they have lack of workers, you know, doing the shit they pay them to do. So this is something that needs to be called out and I don't see very many people doing it. But of course there are and I actually do suggest if you want a more personalized experience experience of this whole ordeal. I would suggest watching a Bishire YGO's video where she came out about a month ago and she very reasonably was pissed about buying sealed product recently at a GameStop and noticing that someone had cut into it with a jackknife and took all the hollows out and just left all the crap. And yeah, for those of you in my audience who might be a little naive to what I'm talking about here, what product tampering is, is the act of basically taking a product that's sealed, usually at a Walmart or sometimes even Amazon in some cases, they will basically cut the product open, they will take all the good hollows, you know, the ones that are actually worth money on the secondary market, either reseal it back up or in some cases, you know, they're doing it in the store while no one is looking and this is the reason why trading cards are kept at the front where the, all the registers are. And yeah, it's obviously some scummy degenerate bullshit and what's even worse is a lot of these cases they will take it back to the store or ship it back to Amazon saying they don't want it for said reason and they even give them the refund and then give it to some other poor smuck that ends up buying it and this could often include children who are getting packs from their parents which really is screwed up if you really want to get on my shit list. So I come at you with an ultimatum to anybody decent. 
what can we do to pretty much prevent this farther? Because obviously this, one, it makes the player base look like ass. Two, it makes parents never want to actually like get their children trading cards again if this is the people they're going to inevitably be associating with. So what can you do to help, as they say, cushion the blow? Well, unfortunately, it's one of those things where you can't do a whole lot unless you catch them in the act, obviously. But cushioning the blow is better than doing nothing at all. For what? One thing, if you know anybody who works at a Walmart or if you're any what aware and notice any tampered product while taking a trip, let's say you find a pack, right? And you notice it's been cut into. Being a decent citizen does actually come in handy in this scenario. Bringing that up to customer service and telling them, hey, this has been broken into. You can't sell this. I will say that does go a long way, whether you think it would or not. Another thing, of course, if you know a store owner or an OTS, you can also let them know about these scenarios. I mean, most of the time in an actual card shop, this stuff is behind the counter, but knowledge is power. Telling them that this is something that may very well happen can help a business owner today prevent it tomorrow. What I really want to talk about, though, is unfortunately, this is one of those things where, especially when you're talking about corporate stores, you're talking about businesses that would rather take the idea of you coming back to their store brand name rather than the act of patronage. So oftentimes or not, these stores will take back your thing, whether it's actually defunct or not, whether you have a good reason or not. And frankly, it's up to these stores to actually ensure that they're making sure they're taking returns on a proper scale and they're also checking these things. But because they don't check these things before they put them back on the shelf, obviously some stores have no return policies and things like that. But we're talking about the Walmarts, the Amazons, the Targets. These stores, unfortunately, like I said, would rather care about you coming back to that said brand of store rather than your pure patronage. That is the overarching issue. And it is up to them to figure that out. And while they try to do that, we as consumers pretty much have to rely on street logic. The door to darkness has been opened. Anybody caught doing shit like this? Honestly, I got no problem if you get banned from, like, any store. Any store in the vicinity. Good fucking riddance. You need supplies? Especially during this pandemic where toilet paper is being bought out? Huh. Go to the fucking woods and scavenge, you fucking animal. Good riddance. And you know what? You keep doing it, the state's gonna get to you. You're gonna go to fucking prison. Yeah, you. You're gonna go to prison for stealing children cards, magic cards, whatever. Yeah, you think you're a fucking baller? You think you're a hustler, baby? Oh yeah, I know how to break into fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I know how to break into all this shit. I'm a hustler. Hell yeah, kid. Yeah, you think you're so fucking tough. Until the next thing you be tampering with or really the thing that'll be tampering you is a guy named Big Jim as you're being traded for a couple of hustler mags and a pack of smokes. Yeah, you a ball of kid. So this has been episode one of the door to darkness. Stay classy y'all until the next time where we delve into more frankly shitty behavior and or people that often dwell amongst card game communities. I'm your host Asaurus and I'm signing out. Peace.